Hi, I'm Paul Gordon with iState.tv with a special, special breaking news report. This is regarding the approaching hurricane, Hurricane Irma. U.S. Virgin Islands governor orders gun confiscation ahead of Hurricane Irma. That's, 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 you heard that right. We're talking gun confiscation, which has been ordered ahead of Hurricane Irma. I'm going to just uh, read this article here, which is on iState.tv, and I actually wrote the article. The governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands, Kenneth E. Mapp, just announced that he is authorizing the Virgin Islands National Guard to seize weapons and ammunition from citizens ahead of the approaching major storm, Hurricane Irma, which is now a Category 5 hurricane. The hurricane is expected to reach the Virgin Islands Wednesday morning. The governor released an official state of emergency declaration in which he said, in accordance with Title 23, Section 1522, Virgin Islands Code, the Adjutant General is authorized and directed to seize arms, ammunition, explosives, incendiary material, and any other property, any other property that may be required by the military forces for the performing of this emergency mission in accordance with the rules of force promulgated by the Virgin Islands National Guard and approved by the Virgin Islands Department of Justice. Now, folks, you, you remember all those reports of uh, National Guardsmen going around and collecting guns from people after Hurricane Katrina? And if you check on Snopes, by the way, that also reliable progressive-run fact-check site, and I use the term fact-check loosely, you will be led to believe those reports are bogus. After this recent hurricane that hit the Houston area and parts of Louisiana, there are also reports of gun confiscation occurring, as well as calls by police departments for people to turn in their long guns. Well, now you don't have to take rumors word for it. The governor of the Virgin Islands made it crystal clear that gun confiscation is now allowed. This is a standard operating procedure for governments after natural disasters. And I suspect there are two reasons for this. One is their resources are stretched thin and their ability to herd people the way they think they should be herded is limited. They don't want to face any kind of armed resistance to their idiocy. And their ability to herd people the way they think they should be herded, well, I, yeah, exactly. It's, it's limited. And two, they don't like the competition. If people with guns can protect themselves after a disaster, what reason do we have for government anyway? Now, just so you can judge for yourselves, if you go to iState.tv, this is the top story on iState.tv right now, and this is uh, Tuesday, September 5th, 27 p.m., 2017, and this is, it's about 6 p.m., 5.30, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you go to iState.tv, you can read the the governor's actual report uh, verbatim. And here I, I say in the article that I included at the end of this article, well, I'll also provide a link for the article in this video as well. The government will not have the resources to protect you after a disaster from looters, folks. That's just, that's just the whole cold hard reality. So because they fear you, because they fear the competition, they would rather put you at risk by confiscating your guns at a time when you most need them for very basic, very di direct protection from very real threats. Just take that in and remember that the state is not here to protect you. It is here to exploit you. If its interests happen to find it useful to protect you, congratulations, you might be protected. You might even be rescued. Now, if its interests do not align with protecting you, rescuing you even, then you'll be left to fend for yourself, but only after it first takes your most effective means of protecting yourself from the dangers that emerge in the wake of natural disasters. And again, I'll put the link down below so you can go to the article and read the full statement from the governor and judge for yourself. And if you like this video, and of course, of course you do then be sure to like, share, comment, 
subscribe to this channel and if you subscribe make sure you hit the bell to make sure that you get the notifications whenever we do our latest video. I'm Paul Gordon with iState.tv, and if you are in the path of Hurricane Irma, I I I I, I bid you uh, goodwill and uh, stay safe. And if you can get out of the path of Irma, please do so.